Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a hand day Santa Fe and you need to remove or replace PCV valves. Stay with us, we will explain everything about it guys. The engine is out of the car, but even if you have it inside, everything will be about the same. Why we have it removed? Because we will show you how to fix pretty much anything on that engine guys, on that hand day Santa Fe. So let's start on it now. So this should work on Hyundai Santa Fe generation 2013 all the way to year 2016 guys with a 2.4 GDI engine. Now let me introduce you to the channel quick. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least 2 to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix practically anything guys. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. This engine, okay, will be completely taken apart, transmission will show how to fix almost anything on it another thing if you need to buy any parts or tools guys okay check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well that's where we get all our supplies from so this right here okay this is the engine and uh, before we start let me tell you guys if you have a Hyundai with a 2.4 GDI engine or other cars check our main channel how to repair guys we have helped more than 110 million people guys we have information that can save you thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so before we start let me just tell you guys if you're on the market for a great scanner okay to fix your current diagnostics i'll put the link to this one in the description of the video below this is one of the best tools that we've ever used guys on our car now let's explain where the pcv valve is located so looking at your engine now okay under that engine cover that's where you're going to find the pcv valve how you remove that engine cover grab okay and start pulling guys okay you have four bushings okay that you need to pull okay like that and you can see when once you remove the engine cover looking at your engine here now we have intake manifold valve cover right here this is a high pressure fuel pump and if you come all the way to the left side on the valve cover you have that device okay and a hose that's known as uh, as pcv valve it's super important for the normal operation of your engine without that pcv valve okay uh, uh, if it's not functioning correctly you can experience increased oil consumption uh, uh, burning uh, burning oil through the exhaust guys smoking so many things can go bad we have a special video that explains the symptoms of bad pcv valve you need to remove the holes once you remove the holes find a socket okay that fits guys okay right here and once you find the socket that fits okay uh, you need to go ahead okay and uh, just remove it okay let's get it loose in most cases those will not be very tight as well so you have to be careful and this is guys the pcv valve we have a special video that explains how to test pcv valve and find out if it's good or bad it's not very complicated and uh, also guys okay the symptoms of bad pcv valve putting it together it's practically in reverse order we took it apart right here you can even see the torque specs 1.96 to 2.94 newton meters so about two two and a half newton meters i usually tighten that and you're ready to go and don't forget to install the holes hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time